Hey, have you ever read in the Old Testament in uh, First Chronicles? The first couple of chapters, I'm just going to tell you, it's the genealogy. It's, I mean, if you're into that, that's great. But it's a little bit of hard reading. Um, Adam, Sheth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalil, Jerid, Henoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The sons of, it just, you know, one chapter full of this. Two chapters full of this. Three chapters full of this. But get this. Right in the middle of the genealogy. Right in the middle. It says, and Jabez. Well, let's back up a little. Um, blah, 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 blah. And cause begat Anub and Jobah. And the families of Alherhil, the son of Haram. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Actually, tell us about this guy a little. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. Well, in in the Bible, names meant something. You didn't just willy-nilly name your child something because it sounded pretty. Um, they meant something. Um, and then you carried that name. And names have power. Names have meaning. Words. There's the power of life and death in our tongue. Um, like in the story of Ruth, um, uh, and Orpha, they were both married to Naomi's sons, which one of their names was sick. One of their names was tired. No wonder they died early. Um, but anyway, then the next verse says, and Jabez called on the God of Israel saying, oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed and enlarge my coast. And that thine hand might be with me, and that thou would keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Just like that. In the middle of this list of genealogy where they tell nothing about anyone else. Fourth chapter, fifth chapter, sixth chapter. There's very... Seventh chapter. I mean, there's a little bit in the seventh chapter that starts telling about people, but it's but not not much, and it just keeps doing this all the way through First Chronicles. I mean, a long way, chapters and chapters in. But in the middle, there's this prayer, and God granted it. There's power in your words. There is power in your prayer. Man, don't hesitate to pray for those you love. Don't hesitate to um, lift your needs up to the Lord. Seriously. And Jabez called upon the God of Israel. Did you know that we can still call on the God of Israel? We can still call on Almighty God. He says when you pray, pray believing. He says you have not because you ask not. He says ask, seek, knock. He's right there. He's right there. Can we just pray right now? Oh, God of Israel, God, our father, I just thank you for this moment. I thank you for those that are watching. I thank you for this day. And I thank you, God, for the very breath in our lungs. Without you, we would be nothing. Without you, we wouldn't have woke up this morning. Without you, we would have nothing. I thank you, Lord, for your miracles. I thank you, Lord, for your grace. And I ask you, God, that each person watching this, as we call on you, the God of Israel, that you would expand their coasts, that you would bless them, that you would keep them from evil so that it would not grieve them, that you would grant their request. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We know not only are you able, but you are willing and you will and you have. So we just praise you for it now. In Jesus' mighty and powerful and precious name, amen. It's just like that. And he granted that which he had requested. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.